Honor, take a look around you. You got a lot of champions, a lot of grizzled vets. Who do you think would give you the hardest fight out of anybody on stage? Right here. Right here, the hardest hitting 145 pound, the real hardest hitting 145 er right here. This guy TKOs people. When I knock people out, they don't fucking move. They're not, who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? You know damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? Um, oh my God. I don't know, when I take that so, guy's belt, leprechaun. Oh, good one. When I take that guy's belt, I don't, I'm looking around, I don't know what anyone else has for me around here. I might have to jump up and fucking drag Floyd Mayweather out of bed and see what the fuck he's at again. What's up, Darren? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the, when the $4 billion number came out, the, uh, the man to the left of you said he was worth $4 billion. So, I, 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 guess, I guess the question is, how much is Connor worth to the UFC? And then, Connor, how much are you worth to the UFC? $4.2 billion. $4.2 billion. That's what I'm worth to this company. Connor, Eric Dame, MyMMANews.com. Question for you. Coming off a couple big fights at 170, we know your history at 145, now 155. This move to lightweight. Tell us your thoughts on it. I'm very happy with, with the 155 pound weight limit. I feel of all the divisions I've ran around and ran through, 155, I feel, will be the one where I will take over the most. So I look forward to that. Careful. What you gonna do? Oh, what? You gonna do something over there? Be careful. Shut your fucking mouth. I run New York. I run this whole shit. And Mystic Mac predicts I'm gonna KO, KO you inside one round. Jackson to Muhammad Ali and everybody in between has had the chance to perform at Madison Square Garden. How much are you looking forward to that? Listen, the Irish, we built this damn town. I'm saying serious. We built this city. Now we're back. Now we're coming to claim what's ours. So it's an honor to be here. Coming in here, listening to all these fans. It truly is a dream come true. I cannot wait to perform for you. I'm going to take out one of your own. I'm going to cash your own money. But make no mistake, it's all love. The Irish love New York, and, and I'm honored to be here. Push it for Connor. Connor, a question for Connor. Can you give us an update on your leg? How serious was the injury, and was it possible that it was going to preclude you from listen, fighting on this card? Listen, that fight was five, five weeks ago. I came out of that fight fresher than I went in. Look at Nate's face. Nate will never look the same. I came out brand new, at a bruised foot. I agreed to this fight. Ten days ago, I agreed to all of this. And then, I don't know what was going on. Something went on with that other side. But I was chilling here waiting for the call, and then the call came last minute. I jumped on a, on a plane, and here we are. So, my, I'm brand new. Two things I really like to do, and that's whoop ass and look good. And I'm, I'm, doing, I'm, doing, I'm doing one of them right now, and Saturday night, I'm going to do the other. <laughs> really, I don't... I don't give a shit. It feels like a loss to me, to be honest. I wanted, I wanted the finish, you know. And I felt the finish was there for me, and I injured my knee midway through the second. And I just can't get it out of my head. But looking back, I should have just pulled my knee from my leg and hit him with it. You know what I mean? That's that's what I'm. I mean, I'm, I'm up here listening to it. this guy got off the night. This other guy got off the night. This guy got off, off the night. The support out there was unbelievable. It, it was green walking out there. The place was green. There was green flags. Fucking leprechauns floating around. <laughs> it was unbelievable, you know what I mean? There was no... I wasn't... Not, not, a, not a deep breath did I take. I could have went another 25 rounds. I was never in trouble. You know what I mean? My knee, my knee popped, but fuck it, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, I just went with what was comfortable. And what was comfortable was get the motherfucker to the ground, you know what I mean? It was unbelievable, you know what I mean? There was no... 
I wasn't, not, not, a, not a deep breath did I take. I could have went another 25 rounds. I was never in trouble. You know what I mean? My knee, my knee popped, but fuck it, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, I just went with what was comfortable. And what was comfortable was, get the motherfucker to the ground, you know what I mean? Just... So I, I wanted to finish, you know what I mean? I'm looking to get paid here. We get, we get looked after when we finish. This promotion wants finishes, you know what I mean? And that's what I'm looking for. These custom-made suits aren't cheap. You know what I mean? This, this solid gold pocket watch. Three people died making this watch, you know what I mean? Right. Who would it be and why? Um, as a, an employee of the UFC, I would pay for every single one. Who is riding a 13-fight win streak? I own this town. I own Rio de Janeiro. So for him to say he is the king and I am the joker, if this was a different time, I would invade his favela on horseback and kill anyone that was not fit to walk. But we are in a new time, so I'll whoop his ass in July. Talk to him. Tell him I'm coming. Tell him I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> even in the sky, even on the jets, I'm coming. Let's go a little bit closer. Don't, don't touch. Let's go closer. Let's go closer. I want to smell his pussy. I can smell your pussy from here. You know what I mean? So, I had a lot to deal with this camp. On top of all the media, everybody here, I love every single one of you people here, all the media, I'm grateful for every single one of you, but I am absolutely sick to death of you. I have done. <laughs> So, so much of it. You talked about how much media you did build leading up to this fight. Did you learn anything through this process or have any plans to change how you approach doing media for a fight the next time around? You know, it's damn hard work. But then, and every time I say, you know what, fuck this. Next time I'm not doing all of this. And then I get handed the check. I'm like... Oh, yeah, I would beat you when you sign to fight me, it's a celebration. You ring back home, you ring your wife. Baby, we done it. We're rich, baby. Conor McGregor made us rich. Break out the red panties. Home with your wife. It's a celebration. You're too slow and too stiff. You're stiff as a board. I'd snap you in half. And I, and I... Um, thank you so much, everyone, for coming here. I'd like to thank... On behalf of myself and the promotion. <clears throat> okay, last question. <laughs> hey, you smell fear mm -hmm. in him. Yes, it is a beautiful aroma that arouses me. No chance, that's what you got. What the fuck are you looking at? I strangle you in a heartbeat. And you as well, you little juice head. Slap the shit out of you. You know. Head. That wasn't the question, but ask yourself, ask yourself truthfully, if Dana rang you and said, you don't have to fight Cerrone, you can fight McGregor, even though Cerrone was still fit, would you take it? You're damn right you take of it. Of course, man. Easy because money. I of course your you got easy money, man. I can make you Look rich. You, man. I change your bum life. Yeah, I mean, here's my outlook on, first off, Connor, how, how tall are you, buddy? Five foot nine. All right, I'm five six. You're five four at least. Three, three inches taller than me, buddy. <laughs> five foot four at least. You should stand up because we can barely yeah. see you on the screen. I match up horrible for this guy. Connor, Connor, do you know what wrestling is? I can, I can rest my balls blade? on your forehead. <laughs> yeah, I know. So don't say you would not take that fight because you would take that fight like everyone else up here would take the fight against me if it was offered, regardless of belts or any of that shit. I'm the money fight in the male, male shit at all weight division, so fuck everybody else up here. I honestly like, like I like Nick, uh, Nick's little bro, you know what I mean? How can you not like him? He's, he's, like, a, he's like a little cholo gangster from the hood. morning and goes on bike rides with the elderly. He makes gun turns with the right hand and animal balloons with the left hand. So, oh, 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 give a credit to the community. Fuck you. Yeah. 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 Fuck you.
Look at this. He's going to Jose Aldo. Look at this. Look at Jose Aldo. He's in front of Jose Aldo, screaming at him, and Jose Aldo is smiling. Ah, stay on your feet! Stay on your feet! Stay on your feet! I'm going to talk about money because we are the business network and the the business of the Ooh. UFC and all that sort of stuff. I'll take over from here, Nate. You can bounce. <laughs> right. Take take a coffee break, Nate. And by coffee break, I mean bring no. me my coffee. No. Don't be going to get back like a bitch. Fuck sake. Fucking. Just go campeão. Your teammate Gil and Jake were too caught on steroids. Not me! Not me! Tom Bell, not me! I'm not on no steroids! What the fuck are you talking about? Your two teammates were on steroids. That's your two boys, the scrap pack. Remember that? When I'm there, they were. Did you know they were taking that stuff? Did you know they were taking that stuff? Did you? You're on steroids. Ah, you see fear in my eyes. You see nothing in my eyes, you little midget. You little skinny old Brazilian. You little bitch. What are you looking at? Yeah, what you wanna do? You wanna do something? You wanna do something? Back up once again. Viva la Brasilia! First of all, this guy is speaking Spanish. In Brazil, we speak Portuguese. Okay. Challenge. They want you to give us a quick count to ten, both of you gentlemen, if you don't mind, just if you wouldn't mind counting to ten. Nate can only count to five. <laughs> ten. <laughs> oh. Count to five, Nate, will you, if you can. You can't. Who are you up with that coffee? I ain't counting. How about and that? who do you up with that coffee? He said, tell him he's his daddy. Uh, uh, my, my father raised me like this, uh, like a man. Tell he's, him I he's said, not. I am his daddy. Fucking slap that motherfucker. Whoa! These custom-made suits aren't cheap. This solid gold pocket watch. Three people died making this watch, you know what I mean? Cholo in there. That's kind of racially motivated. Did you mean to say it like that? Mate, shut the f*** up and get away with you. 100%. Damn jeans, damn runners. Look at them runners. Zoom in on them damn pieces of shit. Proper microphone, that's a piece of shit. That's also a piece of shit. I, sit, I went home and sat in a dark room and plotted out who's next. And now here we are, Las Vegas, Dustin P. Head Poirier is next. We're ready to fall. <laughs> <laughs> I've never disliked somebody that much that I've ever fought. Yeah. I've never disliked somebody that much that I've ever fought. <laughs> <laughs>